In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Intercom with the help of Google Tag Manager. All and more coming up right after this. All right, today our journey starts at intercom.com where you need to go ahead and first of all, sign up to an account. I trust that you'll be able to do this. Once you have signed up, you'll be greeted with the Intercom platform and the setup guide. Now we'll go through how we can actually set up Intercom on our webpage with the help of Google Tag Manager. There are many other customizations that you might want to do to Intercom, but we'll go ahead and go through the install Intercom tutorial here. Now I'm gonna go through a general installation with Google Tag Manager, but if you have another platform running where there's already a plugin available such as WordPress, then you might go ahead and do that. But since we want to install this through Google Tag Manager, we will go with the basic JavaScript. Now here we get the code that we need to install. And I have a demo website that I already st installed Google Tag Manager on. So this is the corresponding Google Tag Manager account. All we need to do with this code is copy it, go ahead into our Google Tag Manager account, go to tags, click on new here, and then we can install our intercom general tag on all pages. We go ahead and configure this. Now there is no tag template available, so we'll need to go with the custom HTML option and we'll integrate our code right here. Just to explain this a little, you define here your app ID. This is what identifies your account uniquely to other intercom accounts. So you can find that idea up here as well. And down here we have the base tracking code that should be deployed on all the pages. Now all we need to do is go under triggers and choose our all pages trigger, save this and try this all out. We go into the preview and debug mode, refresh this here and reload our page. And now we see our intercom code is being deployed. Also, we see the little icon pop up on our page. So now we have successfully installed intercom. Unfortunately, this is not too useful to us because we won't be able to use all the functionality within intercom itself. The website now says, okay, we have installed intercom correctly, but when we go to the platform, we don't really see anything about the user and can't utilize any of the customization features of intercom with our chat widget or our analytics. So the real power really comes through when you install a customized version where you transport over the user details over to intercom. That's actually the next step that we will go through. So in our guide, let's go back here, back into our install intercom section. Let's go to the next step. Now we can choose to start a free trial with the services of Intercom. What I want to do is skip this step because I just want to install the platform for right now. So we can also skip this step, go back into our guide. And there are more steps to complete. We will go with the install Intercom on your web page. So we have installed Intercom. Now we want to identify the user. This is actually the step that I wanted to get to. And here we have a modified version for users who are actually logged into our system. Now, as you see, there are custom data points that need to change when the user is logged into your system. So for example, here we have the full name that needs to be replaced, the email of the user, and we also have a attribute here called created ad. Now with Google Tag Manager, we can replace these values with our variables, but we need to have them available in the data layer beforehand. Now the data layer is Google Tag Manager's construct of transferring data from the actual application layer. So we have a WordPress site running here into Google Tag Manager and then forward on the information. So how do we get data layer information custom into your system? This is something you would probably need to ask your developer to help with. To make this a little bit easier, I have come up with a specification document that you can send over to your developer, which I'm also gonna link up in the description below. And it will let your developer know what you want to be doing here, push user information into the data layer once the user is logged in. It also gives relevant links to the vendor doc documentation. All you need to do is give him some examples so first of all, 
the red values should be custom. So that's something your developer then can take and put it into the system. There are also some test cases that you can go through afterwards to see if everything is working. So let's say I have given this to my developer and implemented it. He goes ahead and puts this into the backend system of our website and then we are ready to test. What would we do? Well, we would go to our application and actually log in. So here we have a login account. Just gonna go with the John Doe account here and I'm gonna log in. And we're gonna see if in the data layer and on the left side, we have a new event called user. So once we click on that, we can go to the data layer and see what data layer information is now available here in our data layer. For us, this data layer information now shows that there was an event called user with the username, the email address and the user ID. And this is information that we wanna send over to Intercom. To use this data, we actually need to build some data layer variables to pull out the right values from this data layer. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager into our variables and build a new user defined variables. This will be a data layer variable where we'll pull out the name key. So let's go on to configuration, use data layer variable and just need to match up what are the keys that we want to pull out, in this case, name. Let's save that and repeat that step for all the other key pair values. And in the end, you should have these three variables or more if you want to send over more information available in your Google Tag Manager account. You can try them out by going to refresh and then refresh your page when you are logged in. And again, we have a user event here. And then when we go on page view, we want to go into variables and see how they are filled. So we have DLV email, DLV name, and our user ID. This is data we want to send over to Intercom right now. So we can go ahead and configure our new identify tag. We'll go over to Google Tag Manager, into tags, and make up a new tag. This will be our intercom. And this is actually for identification for all logged in users. As a tag configuration, we'll go ahead and choose custom HTML. Let's go back to our demo account here in intercom, copy this code and input that here. All right, again, we have some intercom settings and our base code. This time we're going to change around the name and here is where we're going to put in our variable and variables are indicated with these double curly braces. All we need to do is put in our name. This was DLV name. Let's copy that. Same would be true for email except that we need to change email and then created at is actually something you can use but it's Optional, I'm actually gonna use the user ID and put in our data layer variable of the user ID. Whoops, this actually needs to be user ID. All right, this should do it. What do we take as a trigger? A trigger is something we haven't defined yet. We don't wanna fire it on all pages because that would mean that all our pages would assume the data would be actually already available. And we actually wanna build a trigger when that data is available. So on our page view, we need to be certain that this information is actually filled. Now, the most important key that we wanna transfer is the email. So you can just check for the email if there's, there is an email present in this field. If not, then don't fire this tag. So what we can do in Google Tag Manager is just come up with a new page view tag that checks for the email. Let's go into the configuration and as the page view event, we'll choose page view, but only on some page views where our DLV email contains an ad symbol. For example, you could also do something more complicated to avoid false negatives, but in my testing, this was sufficient. Let's save this and save our tag. Let's reload our page. 
Now the problem that you might see here is that this code will fire double. It will actually fire once on all pages and then again if the email is present. So what we want to do in our general tag is actually go ahead and add our second trigger as an exception. So once our exception is true, so the email is present, this will actually not fire and only our second code will fire. Let's save this. Refresh our preview and debug mode and go back to our page and let's reload this. And we see our intercom identify logged in call fired. Transfer the information over to intercom. So let's go ahead now and see if this step is completed. That updated quite well. And if we go into our platform, we should see a new user coming into the system shortly after. So now here we go. Once we reload it, we have our user John Doe, which is now in the system. We can click on him and we see all the information that Intercom tracks by default. You can track a little bit more sophisticated, but that's something we're gonna cover in the next video. Don't forget, now that we have Intercom installed with Google Tag Manager, to go ahead and submit this as a version and publish it to all your users. Best practice is to give this a version name and then publish this to all your users so it's live on your website. And now your users get tracked with the help of Intercom, but also have the little chat widget available to get in contact with you. So there you have it. This is how you can install Intercom with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now this is a series of two videos and in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install Intercom events with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now, if you're new to this channel, we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials, and give you tips on better tracking on this channel. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing over there and also check out our next video where we're gonna talk about event tracking with Intercom. My name is Julian, till next time.